Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this, which I think is what is going to be happening today. A lot of this. Or maybe just a very small amount of this, and then we move on and find something else to do. Who knows? It could happen. It's possible. So, I have planned as best I can. I have gone back to old gear, which has much higher immunity, so that will slow down the Scarlet Rot buildup a little bit. I don't think we're going to be able to avoid getting fully rotted any time we get grabbed by the Stinger move, but... For the sword hits, that should build up rot a little slower, at least. Um, I have also changed out the talismans a little. Really just the one I put on the immunizing horn charm, again, to raise immunity. Uh, that might get switched out. We'll see if just damage or scarlet rot ends up being more of the problem for the fight. Uh, don't need that. And the other thing I've done is change the... Uh, spells in my loadout, just down to two. I have got Flame Cleanse Me, which is good for removing the rot fairly quickly. Uh, also, Giant's Flame Take Thee, just a explodey fireball. Because I think fire is going to do great for us here. So we'll try throwing some of that around. Uh, also, and perhaps most importantly, going in with the Milady here, I've changed the Ash of War to that Flame Spear thing we got, which, uh, for those who don't remember, does... Uh, this, which shoots sort of like a little fire beam, but then also swords on fire, and it's going to be on fire for a little while, which is going to, I think, hopefully, increase damage for us for a bit, for our basic attacks. So we got a lot of fire going into this, and I got a pretty good feeling about that. We'll keep on bringing in Dane, even though that is increasing her HP amount, and that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But, I don't know, it's a story, NPC. Feels worth doing. And I feel like we're going to try doing kind of a sampler of uh, Spirit Ashes. Like, first fight I'll do without them. Second attempt, maybe we try Yosh. Third attempt, Mira. We're kind of escalating toward more and more brokenness or uh, <laughs> just consistent utility. So, like, Tish will probably go after that. And then lastly, we'll try Mimic Tear, which I think... A Mimic tier coming in with the same loadout I've got going, I feel like is gonna do pretty good work. I feel pretty confident based on how we did completely unprepared last time. I think, I think we're gonna do all right, actually. May take a few tries, but I think we got this. Let's get that FP back. Summon in our punch buddy. And then take another crack at this. What a boss, though. Okay. Gotta remember it's L2. That didn't do tons of damage, but sword's on fire, and that's something. Should probably grab these. I do feel like that's bumping up my damage quite a bit per swing. Nice. Yeah, we're having a much better start this time. Lots of swings. Ow. Yipes. Don't get grabbed! Whew. Just barely out of reach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the fire on the sword was definitely adding a good, like, extra 10 or 15% damage per attack. That's great. Oops. Whiff. Nice! And we're staggering her a bunch more, too. Excellent. Oh, we're doing this now. 
Look out. Dane. Butterfly's gonna explode. Eesh. Yipes. Bloody butterflies. Oof. Yeah. They're really susceptible to getting stunned. It's not like I'm getting a ton of damage per one of those, but it's good to see it happen. Oof. That was a little early there. Glad it worked. And two. Three. There we go. Ouch. And there goes Dale. Rip Dale once again. It was nice having the distraction. Nah, dang. That's okay. Hey, nice. All that immunity paying off. Look out. And two. And three. Okay. We're managing it okay. Considering. Ah, nope. It's a lot of attacks. More than I care for. Whew. Explodey. One. That was too early. Ah, we got pretty close, though. Didn't even have, like, a spirit ash in there or anything. Yeah, this, this will definitely work. I wasn't even trying to throw fire around. I should try throwing a little fire when I get the opportunity. And this time, Mira can come in. Okay. Dane's definitely helping a lot with the staggering... And that I'm grateful for. It's not like it's worth a ton of damage, but even so. All right, this time. Yosh, you're up. Ah. Wasn't ready for it. Fire! Do your thing, Yosh. Avoid damage if you can. Do all your flippy nonsense. I should try throwing some fire. Nice. In good time. Oh. Missed my window, that's fine. Throw that fire. That did all right. Kind of leaves me a little vulnerable, though. Oof, yeah. Don't know if I can really go for big charged hits. I don't think she's going to give me the time for that. Nice. Ugh. And Yosh is still doing great. Yeah, there we go. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ow. Come on now. Nice. Yeah, it's really handy. The longer you can keep Dane in, the more of that stagger damage you can build up. Or whatever it's called, you know. Ouch. Nice. I think we're gonna do it. Eh. Two. Three. All right. Ow. Eh. Don't get grabbed. Don't get grabbed, please. Oh boy. Whew. Thank you, Dane slash Yosh, because I was about to die there. Gracious. We did it. Huh. Scary. Very cool fight though. Like I was actually I was actually impressed to see that like that moveset's quite readable and like learnable and very possible to respond to and avoid a lot of it once you've figured it out. I was worried with like really irregular weird <laughs> worm body like flailing around that that was going to be that it was going to be the opposite case but no that was actually a fun boss fight challenge. Oh dear. Scary though. So what'd we get? Remembrance of the Saint of the Bud. Remembrance of Romina, Saint of the Bud, hewn into the shadow tree. After the church was burned to the ground, Romina discovered a twisted divine element, which she weaved into the baleful scarlet rot. Perhaps then the buds might find somewhere to gain purchase once more within the scorched remains. After the church was burned to the ground, Romina discovered a twisted divine element which she weaved into the baleful scarlet rot. That's interesting. It makes me wonder if, like... Like, the scarlet rot itself is... one of the many... kind of, like, gods outside the world that is... sort of... vying for power and influence in the lands between and in this world. The Lands Between is just like this weird proxy battlefield for a whole bunch of outer gods. The uh, Greater Will, the Formless Mother, the uh, Frenzied Flame, the God of Frenzy, whatever that one's called, and the Scarlet Rod itself is one as well, and like the phrasing on this makes me wonder if like was the rod itself a thing that was more of a natural component in this world until Romina interwove this twisted divine element this add this outer god element thing into the rot and kind of like made them one and the same or is Romina taking the scarlet rot an already uh, outer god affiliated thing and twisting it in a new way, into a new thing. Could be either one, I don't know, but cool. I want to... I want to go see what we can get with this, like, what make with this, and read those descriptions, because I want more details. There's no NPCs, like, standing around right here, are there? I don't think so. And still no. Dane? You want to say hi? No? Okay. Whew. All wound up from fear about that fight. Now then. Pole blade of the bud. 
Requires a little more arcane and definitely more of a dexterity weapon too, so not for me. Causes Scarlet Rot buildup though. Cruel. Pole Blade of the Bud. Weapon of Romina, Saint of the Bud. A Scarlet Glaive with a dangling bud-like blade. Attacks cause buildup of rot. Once, in the crumbling, burning church, Romina held the bud in speechless silence. That bud would become her blade. And the skill is Romina's Purification. Imbues Bud Blade with Scarlet Rot Butterflies before unleashing two large sweeping slashes. This was once considered a sacred act of purification. Someday, with a more dexterity-built character, I sense this one's going to be a lot of fun. But also, an incantation, you say? An incantation used by Romina, Saint of the Bud, summons a myriad of butterflies while performing a gentle twirl. The butterflies break apart on contact, scattering rot and setting off a chain reaction. The scarlet butterflies are as the goddess of rot's wings. Bereft of a master, they were soothed by Romina, who reached out to them. I can totally cast it. Huzzah. I think we have our choice. Because, like, again, yeah, I could... With one more point in Arcane, I could equip this. But it scales with dexterity from the look of things, and there's no fixing that for me. I will twirl instead. And I guess while we're here, I will never have that much intelligence on this character. It's just never happening. I might, maybe, might have that much intelligence someday. So, sure. This is the one that's still kind of tricky. Because it's a talisman that raises the potency of storms, which could be cool. Or an ash of war with like a frost stomp thing. Hmm. Lift up, leg up high, stamp it down with great force, send a powerful wave of frost straight out along the ground, can be charged to increase power and range. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of either of these, honestly. I'll continue to hold off, because, like, both of these, like, whichever one I got would just be sitting in the inventory collecting dust. I'll hold off for now. Is there any new gear we can get? No, not yet. Okay. Well, let's go back. It's pretty big. And this, like, looks smaller. <laughs> but it's so much more vertically layered. Man, I love this game. I... cannot wait. I'm so incredibly excited for doing a randomizer co-op run with Dan on this. I think we're going to have a good old time. Let's go ahead and equip our new spell. Like, I'll leave... I'll probably leave this build as is for a little bit, just in case we're not done with this area, because this build should work pretty good, I think, for... <laughs> Anything else we might encounter here, but I do want to see the new toy. I should probably get all my spells back, actually. Hang on. And why not? While we're in here, we'll equip that too, just so we can see it. Don't feel like I want to use it, but... It is kind of cool, but this, though. Goodness. I don't know if that's actually useful, but it is pretty cool. <laughs> Gonna have to hang on to that one. Getting rid of the pest thing, though, until I have a specific need for it. I'm good. Okay. 
So what's up here? Now that we've done that fight. Examine ceiling tree. Oh, this is the tree we got to burn. That's the tree. That's got this all sealed up. There is a vaguely death rootish look to all this thorny stuff, though. It's more ghostly. It's not quite the same, but it's... It's not wildly different. But yeah, we're gonna need Mesmer's Fire. I think. The ceiling tree obscures the tower in shadow. It cannot be burned without Mesmer's kindling. That'll be a little project for us, I suppose. I do think there's more here, like more out here to do, though. I don't feel like we've covered everything out here. Could you just go around this church? That'd be very funny if you could. <laughs> so I, I need to, I need to burn the tree. I got to finish the game. I would prefer not to fight the big centipede lady, though, if that's okay. I'll go around. Whew. But okay, yeah, let's... I don't even know how far we need to go back. I just know I didn't figure out how to get down here, and... Doggone it, I do probably need to get down there. I also didn't figure out how to get up, like... How do you get up here? How do you get up here? I got here, and then there was that big golem shooting arrows at me from here, but, like, I feel like I should be able to... This is possible. I can definitely get here. Somehow. I need to figure that out. I need to figure that out. Let's work on it. Did we go out here before? I'm not 100% sure we did. Uh, I don't know if we came to this spot specifically. I'll take it. And I don't trust you to leave me alone, so... Here we go. Die already. Thank you. Okay. What all is to be seen from here? Maybe if we could get a decent vantage point, we could... Hmm. We could see how we were going to get to that guy. Or even up here. I don't even know if we got on top of all this. Maybe we did. Oh, hey! <laughs> Almost forgot about you. That's a way we're getting somewhere, at least. Getting over to that. Let's not jump down Kauai yet, though. I suspect there's more over here. Ooh, divine bird feathers. I want to read about that in a minute. Or maybe we'll just... <laughs> 
Get a preview. You are kicky. Ah! You can do that from the air? Goodness. Ow. There we go. That was a pretty fun Ash of War. I should actually, it'll be even more effective if I go back to my previous gear, I think. Yeah, I think this boosts something. If not this, then maybe the headpiece. Yeah, boosts Fire Knight skills. Nice. Something like this, and then this might tip us over the edge into being too heavy. Where is it? Hey, still works. Perfect. Anything else hidden? Eh, nice views, but... Hmm. I get... well, we can... We can jump down. We can jump down. Dang. We can, and therefore we must. Heartbreaking. Okay. Ouch. Don't love this. Not worth it. Careful. Just be cautious and all will be well. This is fine. And an elevator to somewhere. Also this, there's all kinds of stuff. Goodness, options abound. Let's see this one first, I guess. Going up. To where? Boy, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Tree really not looking super good. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that. Where are we? Hey, we're up here. We made it. Awesome. And as much as I would like to forget that there are other ways to go down where we took this elevator... I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Because there are other ways to go.
But we have a grease fire here. Maybe we should go back down since we've got this nice little foothold here. Up top. I might just do that. It's so pretty up here. Gracious. Look at all this ground we've covered and explored so thoroughly. Almost all of it. It's just the rest of that castle and a little bit behind it over there. I love that you can actually still see that fire golem I left down there. From this far away. It's real cool. Could probably survive a jump down there too. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Well, let's go down and do a couple more dangerous jumps. I guess. If we must. Ugh. Really don't like. Eh. Okay. Careful. Careful. Hello, hello. Can we be civil? Cool. Nice. No. No. Fine. I think you guys are in Inquisition anyway, so... I'm doing the world a service. Can't just leave Inquisitions running about. Doesn't feel like that should be all over here. Like, that's how we get back, but... Hmm... Can't just be two random inquisitors over here. But I guess. Wait. Man. Eh, no. Yeah, that might be it actually over here. Huh. Feels wrong. But I got nothing else that I can see. Hmm. Oh, okay. Wait. We're not out yet. Excellent. Talisman of all crucibles. Goodness. A giant mass of intermingling crucible attributes. Reduces damage taken from critical hits and headshots, and improves the effectiveness of rolling and backstepping, but also increases damage taken at all times. Rumored to have sprouted upon giants, and is known as the Mother of Crucibles in ancient tower lore. Neat, but also, no thanks. This, though. Divine Bird Feathers. A technique of the Divine Bird Warriors, the very first of all horned warriors, wielded as an incantation. Spread the arms wide like wings to release a flurry of feathers. This incantation can be cast while in motion. Hold to continue releasing feathers. The divine bird warriors, and indeed this technique, are said to bear resemblance to the golden crucible. Golden crucible, you say. Huh. Well, neat. All right. I am satisfied with my jumping around dangerous places here. Let's do that elsewhere.
There we go. So down here, we got ghost dogs. Which sure is better than rot things of any kind. Which reminds me, there's more rot things I need to go look into soon. Goody. Gotta figure out how to get down to that other little area. I probably can just jump to it. Looks doable. It's just hard to get motivated, you know? Like, it's going to hurt jumping down there. And then, even once I'm down there, it's just going to keep hurting. That's yeah, not safe. Oops. Thought there was ground over there. There was not. Careless. Whoopsie doopsie. Probably best to look before you run off of such ledges. Generally. Okay. Give me that. Thank you. Now, how am I dealing with you? How am I getting to you? I'll figure it out. Didn't think you could reach me. Awesome. Are you kidding? Dog is interrupting my every single attack. Incredible combatant. Okay. I'm gonna get this golem archer. They're in big trouble. You are in the hugest of trouble. Can't remember which side you're vulnerable on. I don't think it's this one. Wait. Wait. Ah! Too slow. That's fine. Here we go. Um, you all right? You don't look all right. Ow. There. Whatever. Good enough. Trouble me no more. Thank you. This place has all been very dangerous, but boy, the views remain good. Especially with how incredibly good Frum has been getting at outdoor lighting. In all times of day. It's really cool. Okay, so... I think we can continue running down this way, if I'm not mistaken. Now with fewer giant arrows. It's a giant shooting the arrows, but also the arrows are large. I don't know if I can jump down there. in any kind of survivable way. That feels like a... maybe not situation. Hmm. Where did we end up, like... I'm trying to figure out still, when we... 
warped here from the uh, bell tower whatever thing and fought a uh, one of those eagle knights was that here or like over here I don't think it was over there might have been over here maybe but yeah it could have just been on this little spot down here possibly hmm yeah, I think I would die if I jumped. That does not look a survival. Well, okay, there's there's some rocks to land on. We can we can do this, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All good. Might as well. I see ghosts, I think. Don't even really know what to expect over here. It's another dancing lion. Huh. But with, like, more of a bird face, I think? Neat. Rematch. What weapon would I want to fight this with? What weapon and what companion? Tish never lets me down. Uh, what weapon, though? I guess we can stick with... Yeah, we can stick with this for now. Don't think we need that anymore. Let's swap that out for the living jar shard. There we go. Yeah. Okay. This will work. I think. I hope. Don't even. I'm about to fight another boss just because but yeah I definitely want Tisha's help on this one let's not be goofing around here This thing was no joke. Hello. Yep, you're still very cool. And intimidating. Teach mess it up. Hey, good dodge. Still very cool. Wahaha. Yeah. So cool. I love it. Don't want to get bit by it, though, please. I'm getting bit by it, though. Ow, uh, man. Is that death stuff you're breathing around? It is. That's awful. Oh, no. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that a lot. I am not spec for that. Right now. Did you brought... It's basilisks. You're not even doing it. You brought basilisks in here. That's not okay. That's not okay. That wind better be blowing this nonsense away. I can't believe you! That's very against the rules. Or it definitely should be. Someday, when I establish rules, 
As Elden Lord, that's rule number one. That's going at least in the top five. Dropping basilisks into the fight is extremely uncool and unallowed, unless I figure out a way to do it, then it's okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Almost got it though. Gracious. So like... I mean, it's reckless, but I could try... Once all the uh, basilisks get in there, I could try just doing a big... Rot butterfly thing. In the center of the area. Don't know if that'll really work, but... Should look cool. Um... Probably better also... Equip some of these. Just because. I have a feeling. And... Can never be too careful. Okay. Round two. Any guilt I'd have had about bringing Tish in on this? Entirely gone. Like, yeah, I'm summoning one of the reasons death exists in this world. But you crossed a line. Ow. Ah. This is not a good start to the fight for me. There we go. Well, at least my sword's on fire. That's something. Nope. No bites. So when do the Basilisks come in, by the way? Is it now? It's now. Very well. Y'all have fun with that. Yeah! Didn't get all of them, but I got a lot of them. Where are you? Suck. Come back here. Die. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I hate that you can just breathe more of that yourself. That's so awful. I'm dead. So it's not just that it can bring in basilisks as backup. But it also, like, does have Death Blight as one of its sort of, like, elemental breath effect things. In addition to the lightning, the ice, the all the other stuff it can do. Uh, I wasn't quite ready to start the fight, but okay. If that's how we're going to be. This Divine Beast fights dirty. Like, the most dirty possible. Grandem would be so disappointed in you! You should feel ashamed of yourself. She says hi, by the way. All right, here you go. Have some of that. Okay, you're about to do big breaths, yes. And I'm about to do my thing. Butterflies! Yeah. Whew, close, very close. Didn't really mean to do that again, but you know, it'll get the job done. 
Okay. All right, man. Don't. Oh, that's such a cruel thing you're doing. Now, uh... Nah. Are you quite done? <laughs> Better than the Blight. Now... Die! Poof! Tough fight. And still just as cool a boss. Divine Beast Tornado. That seems like the sort of thing that could convince me to get that storm talisman thing. The Tempest of the Dancing Lion wielded as an incantation. A whirlwind-like twist of the body summons a storm, launching a tornado forward. Charging enhances potency. The majority of Divine Beasts were gored and hung upon Mesmer spears, then burned in his flame. Those who witnessed the deed likened it to a funeral pyre for the tower itself. I think I remember seeing a bit of that in the, uh, like, pre-release trailer. For Elden Ring. Even just like the base game, and I guess probably like quite a few other From games before it. There's like cinematic footage of events, story events, in the trailers, which is not in the game itself. Which is kind of cool. Like, sometimes even enormous story events. Like, some of the most important. But one of my favorite things is, like, and it's, we're kind of safe on spoilers at this point, I feel if you're watching the Elden Ring playthrough up to this point, I love that in, like, the very first Elden Ring trailer, literally the first thing it shows us is Merica and Radigan being the same person. Like, we don't have any context enough to see it or even recognize it, but if you've learned about the radigan Merica thing and you've beaten Elden Ring and you go back and watch the start of that trailer, it's like, oh, wow, yeah, no, that's literally... We're seeing this person hammering at the, like, the runes on the forge, and we're seeing both, like, sometimes it's Merica, sometimes it's Radigan. It's showing us both. <laughs> Just right there, in plain sight. And there's definitely, yeah, a whole bunch of clips from the story trailers and such for this uh, DLC that... I don't think we're going to be seeing anywhere in the game itself, but, uh... You do get a couple little uh, snippets... ...of the war of Mesmer's army kind of coming in and conquering the place. This down here is, I think... Yeah, th this had to be where I warped in and fought... ...fought that guy randomly. I'll jump down to confirm it in a second, just making sure there's nothing else. Doesn't look like it. Ah, it's so gorgeous and sunny and pretty out here. Almost makes you forget the abundance of nightmares we've contended with in this locale. Yeah, this is the place. Oh, and they're back. Huh. I'd have thought they were just sort of like a unique opponent. Oh, why not? As long as we're down here. I've beaten you once, I don't have to fight fair anymore. Also, I'm not sure you're going to. You might pull out new tricks. Whew. 
Yeesh. You do have cool moves. And my sword's on fire. There we go. Thanks, Deesh. Appreciate it. You're always there for me. I do wonder who that is. I guess it might be... What's her name? Romina? What was her name? Romina, yeah. That could be what Romina looked like. Hmm. Well, I think we're not all the way done out here. At the very least, I do still need to go back and figure out how to get down here, because there's going to be something down here. You know, there is. But then I think that'll be it. No, wait, there is one more thing. We also need to... We also need to jump on the spirit spring out here. You know what? I will forget. I will absolutely forget if I don't. Just right quick. And also spend the goodness, you got half a million runes. Spend them. What are you doing? Spirit spring. I'm glad we came out here before continuing up the tower. It kind of feels appropriate to have done that. In terms of order of things. Obviously, we'll have to come back here with the flame later, but, uh... I don't know. It feels right. Boing. Is this? No, oh, not quite. No, the place I'm trying to get's further down. We'll figure that out next week. For now, I want to see what's up here. Gimme. Ooh. Mottled necklace plus two. Um. There you are. Vividly colored ceremonial accoutrement worn by horn scent. Vastly raises immunity, robustness, and focus. Horns are sublime artifacts to horn scent, and their presence confirms the belief that they are a chosen people. Only the repeated sprouting of fresh horns can create a tangled horn, which is viewed as an irrefutable symbol of primacy. So yeah, th this one, like the best version of the horn charm that raises immunity, robustness, and focus, but I don't think it raises any of them quite as much as the charms that raise one of those things individually. But if we want a slightly worse version of all three at once, which ain't bad, then that'll do it for you. Did I look down here? I don't think so. Not that there's anything here, but... Gotta check. Got to. Now nah, we're good. Definitely need to call it, though. It's been a long one. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you next week for... I'll get down there somehow. I don't even, like, want to, but I'll figure it out, and then we'll be done with it. And then we'll be done with here, too, probably. Ready to head back in and try to get back to solving whatever all is going on in there and how we get more places in there, because gracious. Much still to do. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!